Welcome back to Dracon's Plays, The Legend of Zelda in the Phantom Hourglass. Young man, you mustn't go into that cave. Dangerous monsters have been seen there lately. Now be a good boy and don't go anywhere near it. Oh, what? Well, if my sunset is alright, then go on in. Ah, there's no stopping you, is there? But please, don't do anything too dangerous. Alright, so let's continue our adventure through Phantom Hourglass then. Whoops. God damn it. Why did he just walk off? Got him. All right. Sweet. There we go. Alright. My journal. I'm writing this wall in a private space I call my hideaway. Whenever I'm here, I find myself utterly at peace. And it will stay that way only as long as I know no one will interrupt me. Now, I do have more than one hideaway. No one will ever find the entrance. Under the spot where the lines drawn between my stone tablets intersect. Brilliant, if I do say so myself. Got the shovel. This must be the place where Ramos' dad called it. Sideway. I haven't seen any clues I have to get through the passage. Sweet. All right. All right. Now then, let's see. Huh, I thought there was a spot where you should obviously dig, but I guess I was thinking of somewhere else. Alright, anyways, back through the cave. Nice. Back up to 400 rupees. That's pretty good. Alright, good stuff.
Wayfarer's words number three, but the Isle of Gasp is only one of the many fog, or many islands behind the foggy passage. I will see them all. It's my life's dream. It's the only way to live. All right. Wayfarer's words number four. What a discovery! On Nile August, a temple reached into the sky itself. But a temple to what? For whom? My curiosity must be satisfied. All right. Let's see, so draw lines. Oh, there it is. And just like that, I'm back up to 500. There it is. Got another treasure map. To my son, Romanos. If you're reading these words, you found my way to the true hideaway, which means you also have developed a desire to find your own way in life. Knowing that, truly sorry for putting you and your mother through so much. I'm well aware that I'm the world's worst father leaving you both behind. There's so much about the ways of the world I don't understand, such as why the ghost ship appears and steals people. Where does its victims go? I decided to dedicate my life to finding out the answers. If I fail to return, please take care of your mother, and please forgive me. In closing, one more thing. Embrace your wayfaring ways, my son. To my son, here's the only way to sail through the foggy passage. All right, so up, around, down this way, around. Yeah, that's good enough. There's a strange sun emblem on that door, Dragons. wonder if we can open it. Try touching the door. Hmm, that didn't work. It's not opening. There's something about that crest that tickles my memory. Hmm. Why not draw the emblem on your map so you can remember it later? All right. All right, so the symbol. All right, it's literally just like a compass rose type sun thing. Not happy with those parts. All 
All right. I see, you found my husband's hideaway. Sure he'd be irritated if he were still among us today. Huh? You found my dad's hideaway and defeated the monsters in there? Hmm, I see. You've inspired me, kid. We dropped my dad to go on his own, like you. I may just join him and find out. Thanks, kid. Good. Fixing the relationship between father and son. Alrighty. Alright, still no restock, that's fine. We're up to three. Alright, good. So that actually points me to the correct location now. What? You actually know how to reach the Northern Sea? The route was written on a map, was it? Please tell me you wrote it on our chart. I did. How about we shove off, then? Can do. That's right, I can't actually do anything with the frog yet. Alright. Yeah, the frog becomes um, relevant later on. Um, they're tied to the warping in this game. Alright. Now then, let's see. So now we have our route. We just need to work our way along it. Sweet. Fair enough. Five eighty, doing well. Already up to 600 rupees again. Alright. Now then, let's see. Nice! Another 20 drop. 
Do we have a wallet that I can... No, I guess I don't have a wallet that I can look at. Damn! Another 20. That's three in a row. I am so lucky this playthrough, rupee-wise. All right. Awesome. We made it through. Oh, look at the sun again. It's so bright. Yes, I do. What do we got? Vanity hull. Do I want to get that right now? Yeah, let's take it. Alright. Got a proper membership card just for you. The more you buy, the more points you'll earn, and the happier you'll be. I pamper my customers. No other shop offers such rewards, you know? And that brings your points to a total of five. Try to earn 20 points and earn a silver membership. Alright. an island. And I'm already on the island. That's annoying. Find the stone tiles in east and west. Connect the eastern stone to the line. Do the same with the western ones. Alright. I was pretty sure that was a thing. Which is why I started doing it um, preemptively. Got a treasure map. Alright.
Nice. Hello? Excuse me? Uh, this isn't working. Maybe he can't hear us. You don't have to yell. I can hear you, you know. So you guys are on a big adventure in search of the ghost ship, eh? Uh, uh, huh? How do you know? Humans always think that unless they say something, others won't hear them. Truth is, people talk just as loudly with their hearts. But because people haven't... Or people have mellows, they don't pay attention to their hearts. There's nothing I have to tell you now, Dragons. But there will come a day will you require my power. It is then that you should pay another visit to Zazu the Blacksmith. So he's important later on. As he noted. Alright. Yeah, chest. Oh, damn it. I can totally get that chest, too. There's cuckoos that I can ride, so... Yeah, that would do it. Of course, if I didn't miss, that would be awesome. There we go. Sweet. All right. So yes, I am exploring around the entire ocean before. I head on to, um, the Isle of Gusts. Nice. So I need bombs to get through there, which I obviously do not have yet. This place is, this is the place for those who hunger for the romance of adventure. This is the Wayfarer Island, young man. Ha 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 ha. So, Gordon, tell me, did you find it? It? Hey now, you can tell me, there are no secrets between men of adventure. 
you came to this distant island in search of the elusive beast. The mystical creature that bewitches sellers from the waters of this island. You came in search of the mythical mermaid, right? Huh? What? Wolf elves must always be looking for adventure. In my search for the mystical creature, the mermaid, I sacrificed many lives, pleasure, friends, family, good snacks. I give it all up in, to search for the mermaid. Take this pool, for example. This is where the majestic creature will lounge once I capture her. This pool cost a hefty fortune for a man who follows his wayfaring halt. You are young. With age, I have learned to approach life's quest with Ashi. So, young man, if you see a mermaid, you tell me right away, won't you? We men of adventure must stick together. Alright, Mr. Wayfarer. I don't know. I, I started having fun doing his voice. Or doing a voice. Oh, I saw her. The mermaid, Jesus, lie elusive creature. She will not show herself a monster lurk nearby. If you see one, you must get your attention. Show her your wayfaring up. Hey, what are you doing? What's your problem? So I dress up like a mythical creature. I'm a human being. Treat me like one. I'm not some freak you can throw stuff at. Don't you stand there staring at me. Apologize. I'm sorry. Him. Okay, so as long as you understand, now that you can't do that. Maybe I'm wearing my Murgirl costume, but I'm still me. Isn't this swimsuit cute? I made it myself. Um, uh, uh, no way. You're saying there's no wayfarer who thinks I'm a real mermaid? Wow, that's not my problem, you know. Er, well, I mean, um, between us, I've always thought that wayfarer tales were neat. I sees adventure kind of way. Maybe we were fated to meet. Let me go to that old man's hut and visit him. Hope he raves on and on about the romance of the sea. Thank you. Ah, young man, have you found her, the mermaid? What? My wavering alt is filled with the thrill of romance and adventure. He found the mermaid, and she enjoys listening to old wayfarer's tales. Well, she can... And she said that she would come visit me one day. Ah, I'm a fool to believe such a wild tale. How could you toy with my hopes for... Of my romantic wayfaring heart? I've been waiting here, but no mermaid's fond of tales have appeared. Or could it be? She must have met yet another old wayfarer to enchant her with her mermaidish song. Teehee, did you hear, Dracons? Another older man. Teehee, I think he's talking about that lazy old guy who drives her ship. I like how you didn't even name him. <laughs> like, yeah, don't, don't even name line back, just... Call him the old man. Hey kid, can I talk to you for a second? Okay, get this. A little while ago, this girl came up and started talking to me. She had really tanned skin and she was really spirited. I'd say saucy even. Wahoo! But the thing is, I think she might have thought I was someone else. I only had a chance to say, hey there, hello, then she disappeared. Well, the life of the dashing sea captain isn't always easy. Ah ha ha! I finally met the mermaid of my dreams. Now, never would I have dreamed the mermaid would come to me. You had a hand in this young man, so I want to give you this. You got the fishing rod. Okay. 
I have the fishing rod made so I could hook the mythical mermaid, but obviously don't need it anymore, so you can have it. Oh, but I have quite a challenge to stoke the fire of a young adventurer in your heart. You must sail the seas fishing for muddy catches like I did in my youth. Well, let's see. Keep an eye out for this fish settles. Go to where the fish are. When you are above them, tap fish from the menu. That's where the true romance of the sea will grip you. Oh, it's you. Found this old wayfarer all thanks to you. He's great. Always raving about the romance of the sea and call of adventure. I'm gonna pretend to be a mermaid for a bit. Let him think I'm the real thing. Shh. It's our little secret. Alright, so now we can go fishing. Um, fish will also now appear. It's weird law to always have trader. Alright, whatever you say, lineback. Alright, so we got another little island over here. And then we'll have the exploration um, of this zone pretty much done. There's still the wandering, um, like, traveler, but outside of him, we've, we'll have hit most of the area. Alright. Sweet. Uncharted Isle. What? Look at the upper screen. There's no map on this island. It means no one's ever set foot here. Think of all the undiscovered treasure. That doesn't make sense. How could there be... If no one's been here before. Maybe someone who knows diddly about treasure, um, buried something? Bah, whatever. I just know that there's treasure here, Dracons. I sniffed it out. Now you have to go find it. Maybe around the middle of the island. Boy, you're going. Ah, that's right. On this island, a golden chief dwells who can harness the power of cy sea cyclone. To request, I am here to prevent anyone from ending, entering his chamber. You must prove yourself by hitting four of my buddies in a very specific order. To figure out the order, you must solve our island's enormous riddle. Ready to listen? Okay, the order is very specific. Okay, then I'm going to say it. It steers with rudder, then makes spray. And third, it paddles, then sees the away. Alright. So, rudder... Spray, paddles, seas, so I. Alright. Rudder. Spray. Spray. 
So for those that don't um, know or haven't caught on, the island shaped like a giant whale. Once you know that, it's pretty easy to put together what you need to do. Sweet. There we go. Alright. I see something valuable hidden under its statue. Gotcha. So dig. Here we go. Well, by my golden gizzard, a slow toe child. Whatever brings you here, slow toe. You stand in the presence of the golden chief Sil Silos. I'm so fantastic that I'm the only frog hereabouts who leaps by cycle. Slick, eh? Loto, is that not the phantom Oliver glass that you carry? It certainly means, most certainly, and undoubtedly, that you know old, old, old Oshis. We go way back that old codger and I. He watched out for me until I found safe harbor in this secret spot. He's helping us look for the ghost ship. Girl named Tetra was taken away by it. She's a Dracon's friend. Ghost ship, you say? I've heard that dreary vessel from my guilt minions. Do you have any notions as to where the... Oh, do you have any notions as to where the ghost ship might be? Oh, never mind. I had it right the first time. Not a clue. Yet. First, we need to save the spirits that are scattered on the seas. Oh, but the seas must seem very vast for being such as yourself. Vastly vast. Let me help you with the gift, Tricons. You got the Cyclone Slate. Use it at sea to travel by water spout. That is the Cyclone Slate. By drawing symbols on it, you can ride Cyclone too. Want to leap every elsewhere with your ship? Then spring into action with the Slate. Could you tell us more about these symbols? My guilt millions are strewn about the sea. Six in total, sparkling in the sun. Find them, ask them. They each know one symbol. Then by drawing symbols on the slate, your ship will fly to the spot in a flash. So all we need to do is meet the golden frogs and learn their symbol? But are you really sure we can't take something so wonderful, or we can take something so wonderful with us? How can I sit back and do nothing for you, friends of Oceus? The sea is vast, and that will help you bridge the distances. Our dears, thanks, your golden majesty. No, no, no. That's golden chi. Very good. Alright. So, dig by the eye. Understood. Alright, anyways, I am going to wrap this one up here, and next time we're going to go uh, meet the Traveler, then head to the Isle of Gust. So anyways, I'll see all of you guys later. Bye!